So hey guys, this is Dayshree from my YouTube channel, and today we're gonna talk about the Snapdragon Triple Eight versus the Dimension Eighty One Thousand Plus. So let's get started. So we compared the two eight-core processors, the Snapdragon Triple Eight with Adreno 660 graphics and the MediaTek Dimension Eighty Plus, which has the Mali G77 MC9 graphics. So we are going to talk about the pros and cons of each chipset, their technical specs and their comprehensive tests in benchmarks like Antutu and Geekbench. So let's talk about the reviews. The CPU performance are the Snapdragon 888 scores around 91 points and the Dimension 80 1000 Plus scores 69 points. In the gaming performance, the Snapdragon 888 scores 100 points and the Dimension 80 1000 Plus scored 59 points. So talking about the battery life, the Snapdragon 888 scores 98 points and the Dimension 80 1000 Plus scored 71 points and on the overall score the snapdragon triple eight scores 96 points and the dimension 80 1000 plus scores 67 points so let's talk about the key differences and main advantages of each chipset the pros of qualcomm snapdragon triple eight are it has a 3.49 larger L3 catch size than the Dimension 80 1000 Plus and developers optimize games for Snapdragon processors than Dimension 80. It supports 67% higher memory bandwidth and it has a smaller transistor of 5 nanometer against the 7 nanometer of the Dimension 80 1000 Plus. It is significantly better off by 43% and it has a higher clock speed than the MediaTek 1000 Plus. So let's talk about the benchmarks. In the Geekbench 5 single score, the Snapdragon 888 scores 1155 points and the Dimension 80 1000 Plus scores 798 points. So the Snapdragon 888 is 45% faster. In the Geekbench 5 multi score test, the Snapdragon 888 scores 3679 points and the Dimension 80 1000 Plus scores 2764 points. So the, again, the Snapdragon 888 scores 34% better than the MediaTek Dimension 80 1000 Plus. So talking about the Antutu benchmark 8, the Snapdragon 888 scores 70,031 points. And the Dimension 80 1000 Plus scores around 49,031 points. So again, the Snapdragon 888 is 43% faster. So let's talk about the quick specifications of both the Snapdragon 888 and Dimension 80 1000 Plus. So talking about the Snapdragon 888, it has one Cortex X1 chip, three Cortex A78 chip, and four Cortex A55 chip. And talking about the MediaTek chipsets, it has four Cortex A77 chips and 4 Cortex A55 chips. Both are octa-core and talking about the frequency, the Snapdragon 888 has a higher frequency than the Dimension 80 1000 Plus and also the Snapdragon 888 is made on a 5 nanometer process versus the Dimension 80 1000 Plus which is on a 7 nanometer process. The Snapdragon 888 is much better than the Dimension 80 1000 Plus and talking about now see, talking about everything, now we have not talked about what is the pricing. The Dimension 80 1000 Plus is a very cheaper chipset than the Snapdragon 888. And talking about the performance of the Dimension 80 1000 Plus in its own price value, it's superb. And talking about the Snapdragon 888, it's the best. The Snapdragon 888 is the best processor right now. We are not comparing against the A14 chip of the Apple but it is the best Android chipset as of now. So let's see what happens. This is what we have for today guys. Stay tuned for more updates. Subscribe to Instagram Gaming. Thank you.